right on. That was Cult Vegas with the tree panning. Now this one was this kind of your classic kind of old school uh, kind of punk with the, the um, <clears throat> uh, harmonious vocals with the kind of the, the kind of drag on like the, the, the whoa woes and that sort of thing. And uh, these guys uh, never seem to disappoint for that aspect of things. And I did have them on the show not too long ago. And their whole album was like that. It's a constant change, but they kind of give you that old school punk feel. Yeah, it was really plucking on the strings of my teenage heart. I, <laughs> I just wanted to get on the dance floor and go for it. It was great. I like the um, the fact that they they know how to uh, arrange um, for the like for the solo section. It wasn't a particularly long solo, which I always like because I don't like long drawn out guitar solos. But they they did it with some arrangement skill. It wasn't just thrown into the chord progression and just fly at her. They actually it seems like they put some thought into it and I, I we're listening to this through some studio monitors uh, near field speakers and uh, you can really hear how well it's mixed so there's some good definition and good panning and uh, overall good production you know Richard I agree with you with the souls uh, the only the only long soul I actually do like and well lie was dragging a little bit longer but uh, this this is just my own personal preference uh, for this one song was uh, Tom Petty in the Heartbreaker song, Mary Jane's Last Dance. The last kind of solo they did at the very end of the song, they did a little bit longer live. But uh, normally, I'm with you. I'm not a fan of long solos, but that one just kind of took the cake. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like Mike Campbell's a great player, right? So uh, he, and he's also under like he, underrated. He, he, so when he does take a solo, you're pretty blown away by him. Yeah, you know, I, I got a chance to see them live a few times, and man, when I saw that song live, I was just kind of staying back in awe. I was like, this is amazing. I just love the drag out because he did it so well. It wasn't one of those ones where it kind of got uh, too boring. Like, he kept switching it up, but kind of kept with the tune and the, and the rhythm of the song. Yeah, it's like it services the song, not the other way around, not the song servicing the guitar solo. Absolutely. Like, you know, I, I'm... I'm, I'm, that's my thing is I'm a guitar player, so I, and I'm around a lot of really proficient technical musicians, and quite frankly, I get really bored listening to them. I mean, they're all really great and everything, but it, um, it's just really self-indulgent, and I think the song's a lot more important. Oh, fair enough. Nolan, Catherine? Go ahead, you're the guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> sensibilities that they've got with a good edge to it um great too yeah well next up we're gonna get to a uk band called Nebel dead and uh this one is i believe was released as a single uh <clears throat> probably about a year year and a half ago but uh it hasn't really been played in the show at all so this one's called the score dig this is the Nebel dead mm.
That was the Neville Dead with the score. Uh, they never seem to disappoint. Uh, this is the first one uh, we've played in a long time on Music Saturday. And uh, this one is really good. I love the acoustic uh, feel to it. But uh, their songs in general are always kind of deep, dark, and melodic. And the vocals go so well with the tune. And uh, I really enjoyed this one. Yeah, it's probably my favorite that I've heard so far tonight. I, I like, I love all the songs we've listened to, but, but that one I thought was really, really good. Yeah, great name too. Um, Neville, what is it? The Neville, Neville, the Neville Dead. Da dead? Yeah, the Neville, Neville Dead. dead. Yeah, that's great. Such a beautiful song, wow. Catherine Nolan? Yeah, yeah I really like this one too. Um, the sound of it is just sort of cavernous. I was listening to it through headphones, and the way they've got it panned and mixed is just sort of magical, actually. Um, certainly different from anything we've heard here in a long time. I really liked it. Well, they do have a couple that I can bring back and play the next few weeks because I've got about four or five tracks of theirs, and they're really good. Uh, there's a few. You can check, they, they should be on SoundCloud, I believe, uh, but... They have a few songs that we'll be playing in the next few weeks uh, that we'll get back to. They haven't heard in a long, long time that you guys haven't heard yet. So uh, I'm looking forward to that because you guys are really going to like them. Trust me on this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. So <laughs> we're going to finish up uh, part one of Music Saturday with a band called Big Fat Ugly Cat. And the song is called The Warriors. Dig this. 60,000 soldiers. Now there ain't but 20,000 police in the whole town. Can you dig it? Who are the warriors? The big alert has been called off. It turns out that the early reports were wrong. All wrong. Sorry about that. 
Many people think this is a joke. They think this is just entertainment. This is much more than entertainment. What you are listening to is art. All right, that was Big Fat Cat, Ugly Bat, and that was The Warriors. A uh, really cool tune, and as myself and management know, this is uh, pretty much a division of Ice Cat, another band which uh, Richard Jelly, you guys.